to metaphors in your HPT life, you do have a handout. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about what is a metaphor. It is a, a group of words that you transform into some other image to make a complex concept, many of which we HPTers have, into something simple that your audience can understand. So we're talking about the idea of taking something that is not easy to understand, you working that idea into something that will make it easier to understand and transferring that to your audience so they can understand the concept. When you use metaphors, there are three good reasons. One is it's very quick to understand. Second of all, it is a very, uh, it's a deeper understanding, especially if you're with a heterogeneous group or with um, uh, multicultural groups. If you have an image, most people can relate to images. They might not relate to your string of words. And the third is that when you leave, you have an image in your mind. You don't have a string of words to try to remember. And images stay in your memory much longer than a string of words. And I have brought for you today an excellent metaphor of what I mean. This is called a Canton Sphere. I have an overhead, just hold on. This is called a Canton Sphere. It is a symbol of good luck in China. And it is a, a, at least seven concentric circles, all of which have holes in them. But as you may be able to see here, or in the overhead, oops, you cannot see through to the middle. So the complex idea that you're holding in your head has all of these layers, and they're not very clear to the people that you're talking to. So what can you do to make them clearer? You start to think about how to simplify that complex concept into something easier for you. And what you end up doing, if you have a good metaphor, is to translate that into a concept that goes straight to the middle of the sphere, which means that you have hit your audience on target and you've made your point. Thank you.